Hello everybody, uh, myself Saurabh Bhak and I am a faculty of mechanical engineering department IIT Guwahati. So, this time I am teaching this particular subject introduction to solidification processing. Actually last 12 years I am teaching in our department uh, in the area of manufacturing technologies and advanced manufacturing processes and both in the undergraduate and postgraduate level. So, in that sense I found interest to look different aspects of uh, uh, dip manufacturing technologies. Okay. So, uh, for that purpose I just proposed this course introduction to solidification processing and this can be a very interesting course for the beginners because if you look into that, that uh, any basic manufacturing technology or maybe I can say that uh, first step in the manufacturing technology that is in the casting and solidification. So, this solidification process actually scatter that the different properties, physical properties okay, and mainly. So, therefore, this different feature more or less can be decided during the solidification period and I am talking about the metallic material because the solidification behavior of polymeric material or non-metals are different. So, with aim of these things just I have uh, this time this uh, teaching or course and already I have uh, uh, other different MOOCs courses or in MOOCs NPTEL courses uh, that is on advances in welding and joining technologies um, as well as mathematical modeling of the manufacturing processes. Since I am teaching or maybe working research uh, in the area of the manufacturing materials and manufacturing broadly I can say. So, I hope uh, you will get a good experience with this particular the solidification processing courses and uh, this courses is designed specifically for the beginners and who is not having any background uh, to the different aspects or different manufacturing processes, their microstructure, how to relate this microstructure with the process and how to relate the properties with the different solidification processes that will uh, I have tried to present this subject in very simple or uh, here I have just covered up in only the basic elements associated with the solidification processing. So, I mean to say that it is not exactly at the same time we try to I am focusing certain advanced topics also, but that advanced topic has been presented in a very simplified way such that a wide background of the people can understand uh, this particular subject and uh, of course, along with that. Uh, this uh, some demonstrations also I have tried to uh, given uh, this in this particular course. Uh, for example, the simulation of how nucleation forms in a solidification process and what way the grain growth occurs, how the, the solidification front moves and making the different dendritic structure associated with the solidification even in case of the additive manufacturing the what can be the processes in continuous casting processes what way the solidification occurs all this aspect demonstration uh, in terms of the simulation has also been explained. Along with that the assignment has been given periodically and to understand the sub, uh, this subject and along with that the it enhances the understanding through the solving of the numerical problems. So, associated with this particular course, but numerical problems I am not talking about very, very uh, uh, intuitively calculated uh, or computational computational kind of model not like that very simple analytical solution of a, a solidification problems I have tried to cover up here uh, during the teaching of this particular subject. So, uh, I hope uh, this course finally will help the wide variety of the audience for the basic understanding of the solidification processes of the metallic materials. So, with that aim we have designed the course content of this particular subject that 5 different modules are there. First module is the thermodynamic principles and phase transformation. So, in this module I have tried to explain that basic uh, thermodynamic principles and how this can be used in a solidification process and uh, overall I can say that uh, how to calculate the Gibbs free energy to understand the equilibrium of a particular phase single phase component along the binary phase also and what a we can derive the kinetics of the phase transformation through this theoretical study through understanding the phase diagram different types of the phase diagram 
along with the simulation or demonstration of the particular problem with the example. So, if you see uh, this I just I am trying to explain it the thermodynamic principle of the phase transforms it is having the the first module having 5 uh, I think 5 uh, hours lectures is involved and also it is associated to the two assignments uh, this uh, this course content. After that I will try to cover up the principle of the solidification and here uh, what are the nucleation occurs, what are the diving forces for the nucleation and then what is homogeneous and heterogeneous nucleation uh, process and how the solidification occurs in, in case of the alloy system. And finally, the simulation of simulation of the uh, of nucleation and grain growth also I have tried to explain this in, in this particular uh, chapter. So, here also having uh, 5 hours of lecture and it is involved 2 assignments. Apart from that, then we will try to look into the solidification in casting because solidification is mostly associated with our conventional manufacturing process in castings, welding and additive manufacturing process also. So, therefore, all these 3 manufacturing process I have tried to explain to understanding of the solidification processing. So, therefore, this uh, subtopic is also included that the solidification in casting here we try to understand the that how the planar front moves and what way the different equiax dendritic structure actually develop and some sort of the heat transfer analysis associated with the solidification of the casting and then what the defects in terms of the segregation or in, in a casting process along with the simulation of the different types of the casting process and that how the solidification front moves in a casting process that will also try to demonstrate in this particular module. So, it is also associated with the 3 hours lectures and as uh, one assignment is involved in this in this particular chapter. Next, uh, next module is the solidification in welding and additive manufacturing process because some sort of the similarities there between welding and additive manufacturing process that is why I have included both the topics in this particular chapter. So, here in this module we will first understand the solidification behavior in the fusion welding process and how different microstructures form due to the solidification behavior. And along with the solidification of the oiling process, we will try to understand the solidification in case of the additive manufacturing process because nowadays additive manufacturing is one of the most important significant manufacturing processes. So, therefore, demonstration of the different oiling and additive manufacturing process uh, in terms of the solidification behavior associated with this process we will try to describe in this particular module. And this module involves 3 hours lectures and associated with one assignment in this case. And the fifth one is the different solidification techniques. So, the final module and here we will try to understand the, the sand casting, uh, metal mold casting. So, that is uh, uh, in this particular process what are the solidification behavior changes that we will try to understand. Then continuous casting, zone melting, rapid solidification to some extent try to understand uh, in this particular uh, module and the simulation of the continuous casting process and of course, demonstration of the rapid solidification also to some extent will to there is the outcome or understanding from this, uh, this chapter. This chapter or this module involve 4 lectures and uh, associated with the 2 assignments. So, these are the overall course content uh, of this, uh, this uh, uh, introduction to solidification courses. Now, if I talking about the references, so to cover up all the course content. Uh, we have decided the 6 references and that is sufficient to uh, cover up the whole um, content of this, uh, this, um, this courses. So, first is the this first reference book phase transformation in materials and what is the most here the very basic understanding of the solidification we can observe or you can follow this particular book we will get most of the uh, uh, understand um, most of the topics covered up uh, from uh, this, uh, this references. Next, if you go further, then fundamentals of the solidification, this second reference book also available if you want to do advanced studies of the different processes, you can follow this process. Then we, we have mentioned here one uh, uh, reference that is associated with the casting process, the third references and to some extent some understanding of the heat transfer also required and the solidification process. So, therefore, the reference 4 indicates that heat transfer fundamentals for the metal casting. So, there you can get some uh, understanding heat transport and the how to relate with the solidification behavior in this particular 
textbooks cover up this topic. Next is the welding metallurgy also here also we try to on different microstructural uh, formation after solidification welding solidification and then metallurgy aspect is cover up and the uh, text uh, this reference book fifth and sixth some sort of when you try to understand the uh, microstructure develop during the after the solidification process then to under uh, physical metallurgy is required to understand. So, that is why I kept the the textbook uh, or reference book uh, in, in, uh, in the six reference books fundamentals of physical metallurgy. So, the total courses all these six textbooks or reference books are sufficient to cover up this course content. Now, I want to cl clarify these things when you try to because this course module is designed in such a way that uh, it is cover up uh, mainly the the two different questions pattern one is the assignment. So, assignment will get the few questions either one marks or two marks questions and the similar type of the pattern will be followed during the exam also. So, exam you can expect either one marks questions and two marks questions and all are kind of the multiple choice type questions. So, uh, that is why uh, this is the overall view of this course content and I believe that if you follow uh, the lectures regularly and do your assignments and you will get the best output from this but uh, this courses thank you very much for your kind of attention mm -hmm.